welcome to another English homeschooling project, Área Comunicación, Campo del Conocimiento Inglés, 7th grade. There are actions that stop spreading coronavirus. And the first one that you have to do is wash your hands. Also, wear your face mask to cover your nose and your mouth. And more importantly is to stay home. Today's lesson is about the past continuous and the affirmative sentences. Esta es la continuación del tema que estuvimos estudiando la semana pasada del tiempo presente continuo. Pero ahora lo vamos a analizar en el tiempo pasado. The past continuous. We use the past continuous to describe an ongoing action that happened in the moment of the past. El tiempo pasado continuo lo vamos a utilizar para describir una acción que estuvo sucediendo en el momento exacto del tiempo pasado. And if you notice in here, we find the three different tenses. Tenemos los tres tiempos gramaticales del presente, pasado y futuro. But today, we are going to focus more on the past tense, which expresses expressions like yesterday, ayer, last night, anoche, last week, la semana pasada, last month, el mes pasado, last vacation, las vacaciones pasadas, last year, el año pasado, three days ago, hace tres días, two days ago, and also when we want to talk about the season, the summer ago. During this distance learning, it is also time for us to increase our vocabulary. And I invite you to observe very well because there is something happening in the writing. The action is telling us walking, 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 caminando. The action says running, 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 corriendo, sleeping, 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 durmiendo, talking, 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 hablando, flying. Flying, 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 volando, studying, 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 estudiando, cleaning, 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 limpiando, fixing, 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 fixing. Reparando. Washing. 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 Lavando. Swimming. 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 Nadando. Okay. And the big question is, what did you notice in the vocabulary words? ¿Qué notaron ustedes que tenía la escritura del vocabulario? ING. Very good. ING at the end of the action word. Cada uno del vocabulario que estuvimos practicando finaliza con el ING. Esto forma nuestro tiempo continuo. Como en walking. Walking. También en running, running, sleeping, sleeping, 
talking talking flying flying studying studying cleaning cleaning fixing fixing washing washing swimming swimming este tipo de vocabulario que termina con el ing se llama continuo. And in this description about a vacation, we are going to find four sentences that are expressed in the past tense. Vamos a leer esta descripción sobre unas vacaciones y vamos a encontrar cuatro oraciones de ejemplos que están expresados en un tiempo pasado continuo. El tema dice así. What were they doing? ¿Qué estaban ellos haciendo? Last vacation, my family and I visited La Ceiba. During a Sunday's morning, we went to the beach and my brother Paul was building a sand castle. He enjoyed the sand. And at the end, the castle got nice. My father and my mother decided to dive just a little. They were swimming to the reef when they saw colorful corals and a beautiful big blue fish. Lisa, my sister, found an angry big red crab while she was collecting shells. I was happy. My vacation was great. I was enjoying every moment. Ahora vamos entonces a tratar de identificar dónde están esas cuatro oraciones. Paul was building in sand castle. Correct. Paul was building a sand castle. The next one. They were swimming to the reef. Correct. They were swimming to the reef. She was collecting shells. She was collecting shells. Correct. Y la última, the last one. I was enjoying every moment. Correct. Como podemos observar en estas oraciones, algunas oraciones tienen en la formación del verbo to be con el was en el tiempo pasado y también lo tenemos con el where, el cual también indica el tiempo pasado. This is the grammar structure that we are going to analyze and we are going to identify which subject pronouns are written with was and which ones are written with where. Vamos a observar bien cada uno de estos ejemplos para poder analizar cuáles son los pronombres personales que van escrito con el was y cuáles son con el where, seguido del verbo con el ing. In the first one we find I was playing. You were studying. He was ordering. She was watching TV. It was eating. We were dancing. You were cooking. They were painting. As you can see, there are some subject pronouns that are written with was, which are I was, he was, she was, it was. They are singular pronouns. And the plural pronouns, which are we, you, they, where, are written with the where in the past of the verb to be, plus the verb with the ing. In this section, you are going to have some sentences 
and you are going to circle the correct sentence that is related to the past continuous. In the picture you can see two people talking and the question says, what was happening? ¿Qué estaba sucediendo? Option one, opción uno. They was talking about the movie. Option number two. Opción número dos. They were talking about the movie. Which is the correct one? They were talking about the movie. Correct. They were talking about the movie. In this picture, you can see a lady washing the dishes. And the question says, what was happening? ¿Qué estaba sucediendo? Option one, she was washing the dishes. Option two, she were washing the dishes. Which is the correct one? She was washing the dishes. Correct. She was washing the dishes. Let's continue. In this picture, you can see two men running. What was happening? Option number one, we were running in a competition. Option number two, we was running in a competition. Which is the correct option? We were running in a competition. Correct. We were running in a competition. The picture shows us that a lady is cleaning. What was happening? ¿Qué estaba sucediendo? Option one. I was cleaning my bedroom. I were cleaning my bedroom. Which is the correct answer I was cleaning my bedroom correct I was cleaning my bedroom in the picture you can see two men swimming what was happening option one you was swimming in the pool option number two you were swimming in the pool which is the correct answer you were swimming in the pool. Correct. You were swimming in the pool. Okay, let's remember what was the topic today. It was the past continuous, in which we have to remember which are the pronouns that they are written with was plus the verb ing, and also we find the group that they are written with where plus the verb with the ing. Remember, stay home and you will stop the spreading of coronavirus. Bye bye, see you next class.